Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lyric. Today I would like to do an energy reading for the sun sign of Pisces. <clears throat> I'll be using oracle cards to get an overall feeling for the reading. I'll also use tarot to get past, present, and future energies. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. If after viewing the video, you feel guided to book a personal reading with me, I'll have those details in my description box. So let's get messages for Pisces. What do they need to know for their highest good? Let me just do a couple more here. Messages for Pisces. I'm using both um, Oracle decks or um, the, well, these are Crystal Angel Oracle deck. And then this is the um, Archangels. I, I really um, am attracted to doing the Angel Oracle decks for some reason. Um, I think that the prevalence of angels in our um, life is very important and the guidance that they give us and um, the messages um, that they transfer are, are important for us, okay? So that's why I'm using them. Anyways, uh, messages for Pisces. Uh, messages for Pisces. <clears throat> messages for Pisces. In the first card you have, it says, Patience, Archangel Jophiel. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurture and patience. So just take heart and keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on the tasks that you have to do that lead up to that outcome that you desire. But things, great things do take time. And great success doesn't happen overnight, okay? And for your next card, it says, All is well. Archangel Jeremy. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. So, um, once again, this is another card of encouragement to just keep moving forward, to um, hold fast to, to those visions that you have in your mind and soul, and um, just keep moving forward. Don't give up on yourself, and don't give up on that divine dream of yours, okay? Uh, let's get some more cards. Messages for Pisces. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. And this says Lapis Lazuli. And also if you work with crystals or you're familiar with um, uh, the energies of these, um, this could be helpful for you and help you to reconnect to that energy or remind you of um, a just remind you of something that um, you can do for extra support for yourself, okay? Anyways, this card says, life-changing epiphany or experience. It It's a time of big and blessed change for you, and God is supporting you each step of the way. So I am really getting like, Whatever it is that you're up to at this time, Pisces, that it is of great matter to um, to source in that I, in, you're probably putting in a lot of work and a lot of effort and making a lot of sacrifices, but um, source wants you to keep going and um, the blessings will come and the out, you'll, you, you'll, you'll see the fruit of your labors, okay? Just keep practicing and keep trying, okay? Let's get another card. Um, and this one says, Sugulit, Sugulite. Own your divine power. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. So this could just, this is just um, um, a suggestion um, with how you um, engage with the people in your life today, with the types of relationships that you have. Are you um, codependent or are you empowered? Are you um, a suggestive person? Are you aggressive, not aggressive, but assertive? Are you uh, making your wants and needs known? So let's pull the tarot now. Mm. Messages for Pisces. Mm. 
What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. The Four of Discs, the Four of Discs, the Lust card, the Hierophant card, and the Ten of Pentacles card, or the Ten of Discs in this deck. So, um, okay. So what I'm getting, um, in the recent past, and, um, also I feel that this, um, powerful four of pentacles energy is with you at this present time, that you are in this powerful negotiating energy, that you're standing in personal power, that you are, um, Use, utilizing all of the resources that you have to make a dream of yours come true, that you are um, that you are making sacrifices, that you are um, cutting through um, bullshit, that you are um, making your dreams into a reality. Okay, that you're just really, really working hard, and you don't have time for bullshit, and you don't have time for games. Um, and this energy is still with you in this present moment, okay? You have the Lust card and the Hierophant card. This Hierophant card tells me that you are um, co-creating with Source, that you're accessing your intuition, that you are um, perhaps you're in, in prayer or meditation and you're um, doing some visualizations that you are sort of um, very seated and um, knowledgeable on where you're headed and where you want to go. You recognize the pitfalls on this journey and um, they might slow you down, but they don't let you stop um, is what I'm getting. I'm going to pull... Um, I'm going to pull um, some clarifying cards on this last card. Um, the, the, what I what came, did come through here was just to be um, aware of greediness, um, that that could be um, because um, at, at this time, in this moment, that you are headed towards um, great financial success. And um, Source doesn't want you to um, lose your heart to greed and doesn't want you to um, lose your heart to selfishness. Um, and sometimes with great wealth, that can happen to people. So um, let me look. Um, let's get a couple more cards. Tell me more about this Less card. Tell me more about this Lust. The Nine of Swords. One more for this. And the Two of Pentacles. Um, yeah, so I just, I really feel that this Lust card is just a warning from Source to, um, to um, not let things get out of hand, to, um, to authorize balance, and, um, and, have a right um, state of mind um, with your wealth and on how you um, govern things, okay? You don't want to um, overwhelm yourself and you don't want to become greedy, okay? Um, it's just a warning, okay? In the outcome energy, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So I do feel that um, your hard work is paying off, that your... Um, uh, trying to achieve your dreams that you're co-creating with source that um that you are actualizing your potential that you're not letting um setbacks 
um, cause you to fail and you don't believe that failure is an option at this time that you're really just moving forward and pushing through and making things happen in your reality those are all the messages that i have for you pisces um i'll see you in the next one